Tomb Raider in 3D, a 2018 release, a two hour film, a 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio, starring Alicia uh, Vicant, Vicandler, uh, Dominic West as her father. Alicia is Laura Croft. Dominic West is her father, uh, and also starring Walton uh, Goggins as Matthias. He is the, uh, the nemesis here, the, the villain. And we have Daniel Wu as Lou Rome. Now, listen, you may be like me. You may say, look, I, I looked at this cover and I said, wait a minute, that's not my Tomb Raider. That's not the Tomb Raider I grew up with. That's not 1996 Tomb Raider. That's not Laura Croft. Uh, that's not uh, the Laura Croft I'm used to seeing. Doesn't have the physique, doesn't have the body. Um, we know that the 1996 version was, you know, kind of sexist, if you want to say it that way. Angelina Jolie had the body to play it, right? And so you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's not my Tomb Raider. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll watch it someday. Well, let me tell you what. You're really doing yourself a big disservice if you don't pick this up and watch this movie. Um, this, what this is, is an adaptation of the 2013 video game Tomb Raider. Alicia Vikander, her physique, her look, everything mimics the game to a T. This is Laura Croft from the 2013 video game Tomb Raider. This is her. This is exactly how she looks like. This is her physique. This is the way she acts. Um, and she is phenomenal in this movie. I got to tell you that. We're going to get to 3D in a minute. There's going to be some spoilers here. I think this is 6.3 on Rotten Tomatoes. Like I said, it's a two-hour movie. I was going to pop this in for 20 minutes, you know, or maybe catch the first hour and then the second hour. Let me tell you what, I couldn't turn it off. I stayed up to almost midnight last night watching this thing. This is a fantastic thriller from start to finish. There is a fatherly daughter aspect here. I don't know if you have a, if you have a daughter or not, but that connection, that father-daughter connection here is unbelievably strong. I, I find myself tearing up at times. Um, really good family connection here with Laura Croft and her father. Um, the action is incredible. Incredible action. The soundtrack that goes with the action, the soundtrack, it almost makes you feel like this is really happening. I mean, the sound is incredible. I, I'm not talking about it's spaced out over here. This is coming from the left or the right. I'm just talking about you're on the edge of your seat. And you're like, is this real? This is almost like, like it's really happening. It's crazy. Um, really good thriller. It's a, you know, I don't want to say an anticlimactic ending. There's a little twist at the end there that, ah, not so sure it really need to happen. But... Um, I'll tell you what, I'm so glad I picked this up, just for the movie itself. The movie itself, ah, great movie, great movie. Now let's talk about the 3D. The 3D is just about pointless. Um, you know, this is 2018, 3D was on its way out. Um, other than, okay, let's, let's, let's talk about the good parts. There's a, there's a bike chase scene in the beginning. I, did I tell you there's gonna be some spoilers here? There's a bike chase scene in the beginning in 3D, that's incredible. It really is. It's really good depth. You feel like you're you're on that bike. That's very good. There's a couple of scenes out at the ocean that are good in 3D. It really picks up on the last 45 minutes when you get in the tomb. It was almost like they said, all right, let's ramp up the 3D when we're in the tomb. And just like one helicopter shot at the end. But I'll tell you what, man, the 3D's flat, basically it's flat. Would I rather watch this in 3D and 2D? Absolutely, absolutely, I rather would uh, do that. But this is no reference quality by any means at all. It really isn't. In fact, you don't even have to watch it in 3D. That's how good the movie is. That's how good the action is. That's how good the adventure is. That's how good the family element is. That's how good the, 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 uh, the, the, the sequences. Very good, very good. And like I say, this is an adaptation of the 2013 video game. Alicia Vikander pulls it off. I can't wait for the sequel. It's supposed to come out in 2021, next year. We're supposed to get a sequel, and I can't wait. I hope they do a better job on a 3D on that one. 
So what did you think? Did you see it? Did you see it 3D? Did you see it 2D? Did you see it at the theaters? Leave some comments below and let me know. Hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming reviews. It really helps me out. I want you to stay safe. Times are crazy. Have a good night and God bless.